Hi guys, so welcome to another Zendler FBH. So I've been asked by an instructor, how can we do a full width video that auto plays inside of Zendler? So um, let's go and do this now. I'm gonna just set up a new page. I'm just gonna call it video. And uh, I'm just gonna set this up quickly. Uh, just setting a new page up using a blank template. I'm gonna publish the page as well and click add. Okay, so um, inside here, what I've got, I've got some already videos that I've uploaded onto the platform, so I'm gonna be using that as a base. Now, we can also use embed code as well, so um, it's worth thinking about that from that point of view as well. But let's just go and do this full width and uh, to show you how it will work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just get rid of my navigation. You don't need to do this, but it's just up to you. So I'm going to get rid of this so we can just concentrate on the main issue. So we have a um, empty block put in here. Now obviously you go to empty blocks and drag an empty block in to do that. So I'm just gonna add my video straight in. So I'm gonna put a row, one row, 100%. I'm gonna click in add. I'm gonna to go to video. I already have videos uploaded, but of course you can use it embed code. With embed code, you might need to use special um, coding to get stuff to autoplay. So I'm gonna just choose this video here. So just basically upload your video, click here. Make sure your video is high enough quality to cover the full width of the screen. In my case, it's okay because I've got a 1920 by 1080, which is full HD. So it should cover it. If you've got a smaller video, like 720 at standard HD, then in it's trying to cover a 1980, the full width, then it's going to be pixelated. So you need to make sure the quality your video is big enough so that it stays sharp so I'm going to click this and I'm going to put it in there there it is so what I'm going to do now is come into the main block that's the blue block and I'm going to go across here and make it full width now you can see it's full width but I have a little bit of a gap here so I'm actually going to save this and we're going to preview the page so you can see it okay let's hit the preview so save and preview here we go so there you go it's not too bad, but I've got this horrible little edge bits that I want to make it full width for. So it's going to be really easy, this, um, guys. Just need to hit that row, that containing row. That's not the element block, and it's not the blue block. It's the row that's inside it. We're going to go to the settings here, and on the left and right spacing, we're going to put negative 15 in here. Okay, make sure it's negative 15. That should do it. Uh, negative 15 here. Okay, now... Um, it's going to take you out a little bit you might need to do a little bit more but if I click save now with that negative value and we click in here and refresh we will have reduced this gap there we go so you can see we've reduced the gap but not enough so instead of now moving this any more than minus 15 which will take this box outside of this area and we won't be able to get to this anymore I'm going to drop into the red element and click the settings in here and I'm going to do the same I'm going to do this negative 15 and I'm gonna do negative 15 on the left and the right spacing. So we've got negative 15 there, I'm gonna come into here, and I'm gonna choose negative 15 in here as well. So negative 15, that should space it, and then I'm gonna click save in here. Now I'm gonna jump back to the video, we're gonna hit the refresh button, and now you can see that it is actually full width right across the screen, okay? Um, you can see there that I've actually got a little bit of space on that side so I'm just going to check a few things let's make this 30 it's better so a little bit of tweaking so this side just need to make it a little bit more so I'm going to come into here again I'm going to make this right 30 click Save back into here refresh and it should have got rid of this now so yeah I need to go a little bit more so guys you know it's just a case of tweaking things till it works and I'm going to come in here now we're just gonna I really force it by clicking 50 now that'll do the job come in here hit the refresh and there we go full width so because we can't auto play the video in here what we're gonna to have to do is actually take embed code and put it in there so that's exactly what we're gonna do so I'm going to come into the video now and click this options and I'm going to go to embed code. So with the embed code, I can embed a video from our site into here. I just need to put use a bit of code. So I've just got this video that's on Vimeo. So I'm going to just click this uh, share and you can see that I have some embed code down here, which I'm going to copy. Okay, I'm going to copy this code 
and we are going to paste this into the site. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to paste this in here. Now don't worry at the moment, we're going to be changing this. I'm actually going to take out a few of these links in here as well. So we've got the iframe, this is the video, this is the width and the height and that allow autoplay full screen this is all okay this is the iframe this is the bit that's underneath it so I can actually delete it out that's the main iframe information that's in iframe okay now for the width what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put in here 100% um, and I'm going to put in height auto okay so I'm just putting auto in there for the height okay so uh, and now I'm going to click add And now you're going to see that it is full screen. So if I click save, we go back in here and we just refresh this, then this is what you have. So the player's in there, um, you have the title, but that's what's the title of the video, so you can name that what you want. All right, guys, so pretty easy to do. Um, just, uh, I'd always also, just as a little tip here, I would always save that embed code as well just so that you've got it so you don't have to keep going back to it if you need to make any tweaks or anything so remember take everything away apart from the iframe um, you can come in here put this to 100% put this to auto yeah allow auto play full screen do 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 as you can see there we have the video in the page but it doesn't auto play so how can we auto play it as well well within Vimeo when you go to the share settings um, you'll actually see the embed code but you'll also see another thing that says show options so with show options it basically adjusts this code so if you look down here it says show text link under the video let's turn that off and let's turn on loop the video or let's click on auto play for this video so you don't have to have these things you can turn them all off inside here um, you can also say fixed size and I could click responsive so if I click responsive it means I don't have to alter any of the code so responsive on autoplay this video is all we're going to leave on okay so uh, makes it very easy um, you can also change things like the color in here as well if you wanted to so if you don't know what this color these are hexadecimal colors that you can put on things and they'll change the color of things inside here like this to blue or like I'd used FFF which is white so um, this is really cool so now I've changed this off I'm going to take this code and I'm going to copy it control C to copy it I'm now going to jump back into our page and I'm just going to put this embed code in and I'm going to click add as you can see it's auto playing Let's click save and let's jump to our page and hit this and there we have it so you can see that is now also playing now we have a gap top and bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and we're going to alter that gap we just got that gap in there which I'm going to bring up and of course you know it's a block so you can color this background if you want to um, whatever color you like and if I want this to be the very top of the page, I can actually take maybe this red block or I could take the green block here and I could actually put a negative top value in. So if I put a negative in here, a negative of like minus 80, it's going to knock it right up. Now be really careful because you'll lose that top block. So you've got to be careful with this. So if I put it at 50, if I put it at 30, it's just a little bit under, let's try 10, uh, let's try 13 or 14. Now I've still got access to that block, I can still get to it if I need to. So now I'm going to click save and we'll be right against the top of here. So I'm going to click refresh and bang, we're right at the top now. And of course our video will auto play as well. if I don't pause it. There we go. That's how you do it.